Hey Glam Fam, Linwood here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a curling wand like so. This one here is by Babyliss. It's one of their nano titanium irons. You can use pretty much any iron that you like. I'm using this one because it's professional, so it's what I would actually use in the salon. Uh, but it's basically your general almost died. It's basically your general uh, composition where you've got the protective tip here, you have your barrel here, uh, temperature setting on this one, which the only thing I will say I don't care for about this one is it goes from like 1 to 50 and it doesn't give you an actual temperature setting so you almost have to have the booklet that comes with it, but I'll discuss that with you in a moment. And it also has like this little portion right here, which I know people always ask me what these are for. This basically is so you can set it on a surface and it props up like that. And that way you don't burn up your surface that you have it sitting on by just having it laying on there flat onto your countertop, things like that. But I'm also going to show you another purpose for this so that way you guys can have a better understanding of what exactly it's for and uh, how you can utilize that piece that comes on most curling wands. It does have a swivel handle, which is fantastic anytime you're working with any curling tool. That's pretty much all I have to say about this here. Now let's talk about hair type before we get into this. So if you are using it on fine hair, being that it's very thin in terms of each actual strand, you're gonna be looking at a temperature of maybe like 360, unless the hair has been bleached and it's fine, in which case I would step it down even more, so like 340. If you have normal hair or like normal to medium hair, I would say you would want to go with like maybe 380 at your max. And then if you are, I'd say maybe 380, 385. If you are someone with more coarse hair, you could go up to 410, but I would really caution to stay at like 400 or lower. Just keep in mind, you don't even bake cookies at some of these degrees these irons come at. Like now they're making irons at like 465, which 450 was ridiculous enough. So just be be cautious as terms of how much heat you're using because heat damage is often irreversible and I don't want you guys doing stuff that's going to burn that hair out or have you, you know, just where you're losing curl or losing natural texture and definition. So I have my mannequin here. Her name is Vanessa. She's a pivot point mannequin. I've got her hair sectioned off in this back section here. You guys can see it's still curled from Lord, I think this is from the pin curls that I did with a flat iron literally in October. This is April. Okay? Tell me my styles on that. I'm going to be using Rusk's uh, hairspray because even though it says that it's an ultra firm hold or extra firm hold, it's not. Um, I honestly prefer it as a curling spray or a working spray. So I'm going to go ahead and give Vanessa here a quick mist. Uh, and you want to just give it a pretty even mist all the way from the top portion of the hair here, not on the scalp, but from the top portion of the hair here on down to the ends of the hair. It's just gonna give a little bit of texture while you curl. So I'm gonna tilt Vanessa forward here and hopefully that way it'll help you guys to kind of see what all is going on and all that. We're gonna go ahead and take our rat tail comb and section off like a one inch by one inch section. Now the way that I select this is at the widest portion of your barrel, which is about an inch here, you don't want to take your subsection any larger than the size of that barrel. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of, of hair on there. It's not going to go through properly. You'll be burning portions of the hair and not fully curling the other portions. From there, we're going to go ahead, select that hair out, comb it nice and smooth, and I'm going to place this iron heading downward. Now, you can honestly place it whatever direction you like. If you'd like to place it across like this, that's fine. If you like place it down this way, however you want to do it. If you'd rather go up, that's fine too. Uh, and then from here, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this hair. Now I'm going to show you the correct way as well as the incorrect way to do this to get wand curls. So I'm going to go ahead and grip up close and we're going to place, remember that part with the nibs I was telling you about earlier? I'm just going to place that right against the scalp, okay? From there, I'm going to go ahead and begin wrapping this around. Be careful not to burn yourself just like so. Now notice I'm not loosening this hair, I'm just letting it wrap around there the way that it naturally does. So I want to take it down as far as I can without releasing that hair and we're just going to let it sit for about I'd say maybe 10 seconds or so. So once we've done that I'm just going to go ahead and release and let that baby cool. Don't go messing with it while it's still warm because then you're gonna lose some of that shape that's in there. But you guys can kind of see that curl there. One of the mistakes I see people frequently make when they are doing this is they do it and it ends up looking like 
a curl. So basically what they do is they take the hair and they're wrapping it around like this. Do you guys see the difference? When you do that, it's gonna look like you curled it around a curling iron. It's just gonna look like a big Shirley Temple curl. And you guys can see just from the difference of those two curls, I want you guys to have a look at that. This looks more like a standard curl. This one is more like a wand curl. So if you're looking for wand curl, that beachy wave looseness, that's the way you want to do it. If you want a standard curl, just use a curling iron. Now let's say you are worried about burning your hands, things like that. Honestly, what you can do to kind of help that out, and it sounds a little far-fetched, but uh, you guys know those shower gloves that you can use? Like the, uh, the uh, Jesus, I burned myself. Um, the shower gloves <laughs> would happen while I'm talking about not burning yourself. Uh, it's like an exfoliating shower glove, and it's like the stretchy one's not super thick, uh, basically with those, if you put that baby on there, surprisingly, it doesn't burn, but it'll also keep you from burning yourself. So good to know for those who are a little scared of, of heat, you know, you can go ahead and easily take care of that. So I'm going to do across this back section and then I'll let you see. And in the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do soft waves after you have done a full head of curls like this. All right, Glam Fam, so you guys can see this is just one row of these curls, like this here. Uh, if you want it to have more of a full look like this, all you have to do is take the bottom of those curls and just give them a tug, like that. And they loosen right on up for you. You can actually even drag your fingers through them, but look at, look at how much they change just by pulling the bottoms versus leaving them together. It's going to give you a lot softer of a feel to that hair. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to do those soft Hollywood style waves with this type of curl uh, that gives you that very red carpet look. Stay tuned, take care, and until next time you guys, stay glam, and you know I love you boo. Bye bye.